Hello, one and all. We return to the adventures in Hoenn. I have tried for ages to get this camera to be straight and it's not obeying me. It does not want a future. Want to just be fun. There we are. Okay. It's been quite a while since we've had any adventures in Hoenn. Well, since you've seen what's been happening. So, I'll get you up to speed. You saw a little clip there of Brawley doing his squats to some stirring music and uh, the way the battle went between myself and Brawley started for 10, I fielded first started for 10, did alright against the matchup that Brawley has although when it started using seismic toss and throwing started for 10 around started for 10 needed to unleash an attack that would put the matchup down and it did, well he did, started for 10, did hit the matchup with Bubble and finally took it out but it was not without its injuries and started for 10 took a lot of damage so when when Brawley brought in his Makahuta there was a lot riding on starter for 10 here starter for 10 didn't manage to take out the Makahuta which managed to use bulk up several times to become really powerful and starter for 10 went down well nearly went down to the arm thrust he was down to 1 HP and I brought him out now I thought I'll bring in my newly acquired HM slave not just an HM slave, but a warrior in general, the Holucha known as Hawk Hogan. But Hawk Hogan came in and I thought it would be an easy cleanup job now, but Brawley used a potion. So Hawk Hogan hit with an aerial ace, didn't take it out. Hawk Hogan tried again, but was not with a knockoff. I thought this is going to be it, Hawk Hogan's going to go down. And then Hawk Hogan used a big flying press, big crossbody off the top rope, and took down the Makaruta. And Brawley was all impressed with my victory, and when I left the gym, something about Devon Parts, I don't remember, but I had to take the Devon Parts all the way to Slateport, so I went there, and that's where I am just now. I went through the market, and I moonbathed on the beach, a lot of people sunbathed, I went and moonbathed to get a moon tan, because it was late at night when I got there. Uh, and I've been through the town, some of it anyway, uh, we've not had any chance to really heal up or anything. We went to the Pokemon fan club, and that's where we are just now, sitting next to the president. And a woman in the background who, for reasons unknown, likes to walk around in circles and rotate now and again. She's not actually looking at anything. I think she might just be hyper. Anyway, that is the update. I will show you some footage now of, uh, of what we're going to do from here on in. Yeah, I would like to make it. Maybe I'll put pictures of something, or maybe I won't, but I'll try and make the update interesting. And now that I've got a new camera, because this is Boxing Day 2014, yeah, I could have filmed on Christmas, but I didn't. So what I've decided to do on Boxing Day 2014 is give you a little recap, because I've not actually played through this game at all, and uh, aside from the little bit I told you just there where we beat Brawley, maybe in the future... I've just dropped my stylus! Oh, no. Yes, perhaps in the future we'll, uh, we'll see some more live action, you know, stuff like, amazing stuff like this. <laughs> Look at me standing up, able to walk around. I mean, I could go outside if you want. Let's see. Yeah, oh, it's looking freezing outside, though. I'll tell you what, we'll just go back inside because it's a bit cold and late. So we'll go over here. And should nostalgia take me, I might put up some... X and Y battles or anything like that. So uh, that's that's all. Tune in for the next bit, which is coming right now. Happy New Year, everybody! It's the first of January, two thousand and fifteen, and I've spent a lot of time in the Pokemon fan club. And I should probably leave there. I've not been there for the whole year, you understand. I've just been there for a very long time. So I'm not entirely sure what I have to do now. I think... I know what. I know the contest hall is up here. Maybe I should have a look at that. Well, here's the name Raider's house. Let's see what this guy's got to say. If you want to change your Pokemon's nickname, get the name Raider to help. He lives in this town. I know that. Because I read the sign. Yeah, I've waited so long for this. Pokemon Contest Spectacular. I'm going to enter. But before I do, I have to catch some Pokemon. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea, mate. So this is where the name rater lives. And everything I've got, I've brought over from X and Y, so he's not going to be much help to me just now. Oh no, what's that? 
nothing. That's what it is. Nothing I can hold on to. Even this oh, interesting weeds there, so. Right, okay. <clears throat> Let's see. I'll try and go in here. Jings. It is quite spectacular. What's in here? It's a big machine with a speed indicator and a meter. That's probably for the pocket locks, I'd imagine. So this crazy woman won't go forward. Hmm, what should I do? I can't come up with an idea for a really fashionable Pikachu costume. I wonder if I get, could get some inspiration from seeing a wonderful trainer in a contest spectacular. Possibly. You can take a picture of a Pokemon during a contest spectacular. And you can upload the photo to the Pokemon Global link using GameSync. I'm going to brag about my Pokemon globally. Oh well, okay, fine. Let's see what this guy's got to say. I'm in charge of preparing the contest hall for everyone. If you'd like, I can create a special effect during the talent round in the contest hall. Do you want me to do it? Eh, uh, not just now, sir. I'm not even able to take part, I don't think. Welcome to the Pokemon Contest Spectacular. Oh, you don't seem to have a contest pass. We only accept trainers who have contest passes. As, con as contestants of the Pokemon Contest Spectacular. Well, let me see. You might be able to get it from somebody. Slateport City is a big place, so why don't you try sightseeing in different places? Why don't I try that? That's what I could do. But I have been everywhere. Oh, well. The gentleman urinating in the corner there. Oh, someone should report that. Oh, hello, sir. If you want to raise a Pokemon that's the strongest and the best for both battles and any contest spectacular, it's vexing. Try to figure out which moves I... Trying... Uh, it's vexing. Trying to figure out which moves I should make it learn. Yeah, okay. Usually I... I well, I've not had contests for a while, so I can't really help you there. Oh, no! The camera fell over. Don't worry, I'll bring it back up. There we are. Let's see what this guy's going to say. Hey man, I'm I'm like majorly cheesed, you know, like you know, I just wanted you to know want mm, wanted to know why my Pokemon never won, you know, like hey so like I gave the judge my two cents, you know, the three, and he wouldn't hear me out. He, like, hey, so like total buzzkill, man. Hey like you zip it, you know? Just like, you know, take this. Oh, cheers, mate. That's TM Torment. 41. That's like Torment, you know? Hey, you hearing me? Like, it won't be... It won't let the other guy use the same move twice in a row, see? Hey, now, you listen here, like... I'm not laying a Torment on you, no, you're just wasting your time. Well, that was a kind of you. At least I got a TM out of that. I can't really do anything here, so I'm just gonna leave. Camera. I think the only thing I need to do is go to the the shipyard or the harbour is it? Let's see if this oh, no it's the museum. Do you know about the pocket lock kit? Well no I'd be lying if I said no because I do know what it is. I thought so it's a must that must have kit for trainers who enter contest spectacles. You're not letting me have one, so that's no good. Slateport Harbour. The ferry SS title is under construction in the shipyard. Service is scheduled to begin shortly. Fair play, let's see what's happening in here. Wait a minute! Got something out there? No. It was a rock. False alarm, everyone. False alarm. Oh, the camera's falling over again. I beg your pardon? You're looking for a ship? I'm sorry, the ferry, ferry service isn't available at present. Oh, right, that's fine then. Sorry, I can really do about that. I'm not in charge of any of the ships here in Slateport. A journey to the bottom of the sea. I wonder what that'd be like. I'd love to go deep underwater like that someday. You know what, one day, sir, you will. I wanted to go with Captain Stern on the ocean floor exploration, but the sub's too small for me. If I squeezed in, there wouldn't be any room for the captain. Hmm, good point. Maybe I can go as little. I 
Well, that was exciting. I'm going to assume the only thing I've got to go and see now is the owner. Oh, could I also go into the Pokemon Center? That would be a good idea. Don't think any of my team are healed. Yes. Let's heal my team. So there's, there's all four of the team I've got so far. You hope to see me again. That's nice of you. That's just good thing. I want, want another trick to battling. If you ask me, it's raising different kinds of Pokemon in a balanced way. It's no good just to make one of your Pokemon strong. If you end up facing a type that is weak to, it might not stand a chance. Yeah, I know that. It's telling me stuff I already know. Hello, madam. You trade Pokemon. You trade Pokemon with your friends, right? The Pokemon you trade is holding an item. Then you, when you send it out, it'll make them twice as happy. Oh, that's interesting. Right, have I already spoken to you, mate? Ooh, I'm just bushed. Hiked over the Mobile City, but boy, this city's huge. If I'd known that, I would have ridden my bike here. Oh, well, we don't all have bikes. Right, this is the Oceanic Museum. I've spoken to her already. Yeah, okay, so I know that... Oh, dear. I know this is where I'm supposed to go now, and I think I've looked at everything else on the map to do so far. I mean, maybe I could not bother with this and wonder, actually. Could I just leave Slateport while I go to walk out the back and not bother finding Captain Stern? Not bother doing anything about this? Will the game let me? It will. Look at that, I'm just going to walk right out here. I don't care about any Devon parts. Ooh, what's that? Something's in the water. The water. Something's in the grass. I'm maybe not at a good frame of mind. I'm tired, hungover, but here I am, creeping through the grass to try and find out what this is. I don't even recognise the noise of it. Oh, there's my finger coming in there. A uh, oddish. Interestingly enough, folks, uh, Ollie, my Vileplum, this is where I caught him many years ago in the other game in Ruby. Oh, here's Hawk Hogan making an appearance. But Hawk Hogan, just run away. We don't need to be fighting an obvious tonight. Now, who's this gentleman here? Is he a trainer? Oh, it's a cycling road. Which should I choose? Make a beeline for Moville on the cycling road or take the low road and look for Pokemon? Up to you, mate. I would say take the cycling road myself, but I have a bike. Oh wait, will they let me do it? Will they just get um will they just get annoyed because I'm trying to go in this way? Sorry, but you can't walk the cycling road. It's too dangerous. Please come back with a bike. I'm a grown man, I'll be fine. Tosser. Trash can's empty. I thought that. But you never know, there might be some leftovers in there or something like that. Whoa. Team Aqua. What are they doing here? This is my first job after joining Team Aqua. I've got the shakes. So now I can read people's minds, because that was a thought bubble that came out there. Team Aqua's action will put a smile on the face of every Pokemon. Okay, that's fine. I want to go to Slatebot and kick up a ruckus. Well, that's okay. I'll make up for it by getting all fired up in Mount Chimney. Well, I know where you're going then. You want to know about Team Aqua's activities? Haha, it's a bit too difficult for kids to understand them. Well, the thing is, though, guys, I'm not a kid. I'm a small bearded man of 30 years, how dare you call me a child. Oh, oh whatever that was, it disappeared. It's only like a plus or a minor, both of which I've got in previous games. Oh, goodness. Well, okay, well, we'll just stop it then. It looks like that's a plus or a minor, but I just I guess I could see it for the deck entry. It might have attacks, it might be special, it might have something. It 
probably doesn't have anything. Level 12, that's all I can work out. And that's all the deck now, go tell me. Oh, it's a plus all. Hawk Hogan's out here, but we're not staying Hawk Hogan, we're going to leave. Oh god, something else jumping out at us. A Voltorb? That's no good. We're gonna run away from that. Right, so back to sleep what it is there. Back to the Oceanic Museum. Sorry, Hen. Excuse me, please go through reception. Goodness sake. Welcome to the Oceanic Museum. The entrance fee is 50 bulky dollars. Would you like to enter? I've got a funny feeling I've no choice. I've got to go and pay to see this stern guy. Enjoy the museum. I'll try. Oh no, wait a minute. There's Team Aqua guys in here. Oh, it's that much of a issue that the camera has fallen again. I didn't have 50 pokey dollars, so it took a long time to get past the reception, so you didn't pay. I bloody paid. Oceanic Mini Fact 1. Why is seawater blue? Light is composed of many colours. When light passes through water, most lights of kind, most kinds of light lose their colour. However, blue light re retains its colour, making the sea appear blue. I hope I didn't just butcher that. We were told to assemble here, so we did, but the most important person, our boss, isn't here. Hmm. That's a problem. We team Aqua exist for all Pokemon. Oh, that's good. I, c I can do bad stuff using my power. What power is that? Don't do it on me, mate. A strange machine is rotating under a glass dome. Maybe it's for measuring depth. Or something. Maybe. Maybe it's not. What's this? Oceanic Mini Fact 3. Which is bigger, the sea or land? The sea covers about 70% of the planet, and the rest is land. The sea is therefore more than twice the size of the land. I'm really getting educated here. Oceanic Mini Fact 2. Why is the sea salty? Seawater contains dissolved salt in the form of sodium and chlori chlorine ions. These ions leach out of rocks. The concentration of dissolved salt makes the sea salty. Oh, that'll be why then. There's... I don't know what that was, I just tried to click on it. The rubber ball was expanding and shrinking. In the sea, the weight of water itself exerts pressure. In shallow water, the pressure is not very heavy. However, in extremely deep water, the pressure can reach even tens of thousands of tons in a small area. Where are we? Aye, what are you doing here? Me, I'm the team act, remember you thumped before, remember? Here, take this, you have to forgive me. Oh, cheers. Thief. Oh, darn it, you screwed up our plans. I was going to steal something to make up for it, but just you wait, you'll get yours one day. Oh, he's away. Laters. It's a fossil with wavy ridges on it. Soil in the ocean floor gets scoured by the tide. The flowing seawater marks the soil with small ridges and valleys. If the soil becomes fossilised, it's called a ripple mark. Why we? Blue fluid is spiralling inside a glass vessel. This is an experiment to create a whirlpool using uh, uh, a whirlpool artificially using wind. Interesting. If our goon didn't bungle things in Rustbull, we wouldn't be here. Yeah, that's probably true. Alright, this is the same. Oh no, this is an experiment simulating a waterfall using the ball's buoyancy. I just got me a message. If I stole this stuff here, would it make me rich? Possibly. Do you think you could steal it all of it? Right, I'm upstairs. I just want to see what my message was. Yeah. Nothing too 
nothing to stop this playthrough anyway. Oh God! So you, if you, anyone would like to know that the camera fell down and activated the bag. Model of Hohen region. It's a miniature diorama of the Hohen region. Where is Little Root Town on this? Look at it and find out. Idiot. The Ferry SS Tidal. A scale replica of the ship under construction at Stern's shipyard. Yeah, they finished that one a bit faster, didn't they? Jolto water quality sample, the label says. Maybe the water's salt in this differs from one region to another. Is this going to be Cohen? Canto water quality sample. The label says the sea is all connected by the waters, but the water seems to differ by region. Is this going to be Sinnoh? Sinnoh water quality sample, the label says. The water from melted snow contains a lot of nutrients, such as minerals, for example. Unova, maybe? Unova water quality sample, the label says. Water hardness is a measure of the amount of calcium and magnesium it contains. Is this Hohen? Kalos water, water sample. Water quality sample, the label says. The hardness of Kalos's water often exceeds 300 ppm. That's a characteristic of the water in Kalos. Oh, well, fair enough. What's this, then? To display on the flow of seawater. Near the bottom of the sea, water flows due to differences in such factors as temperature and salinity. Mm, okay. To display on the flow of seawater. Towards the surface, seawater flows as currents driven by the winds. Lots of interesting stuff, but what's this? The video is playing of a guy with a wacky hairstyle who could be a scientist conducting an experiment with some sort of machine. Because of this, when you dive into the sea, you feel discomfort in your ears. Yeah. Very educational, everything I'm learning. Now, there, I'm sure, assuming that's there and there, but I'm not finished looking around, mate. Prototype Submarine Explorer Zero. A replica of the high performance submarine for ocean floor exploration. An improvement model of Submarine Explorer Zero. Submarine Explorer One is in use now. Is this going to be it here? Submersible pod. A replica of a compact unmanned pod for seafloor exploration. Exciting. What's this? The Royal Unova, oh, a model of the Sunset Cruiser currently being built in the Unova region. It's scheduled to be complete in years. The number is too faint to be read. Ah, uh, there it is, they're alluding to Unova. What's this one then? The SS Anne! Yes! How's that for nostalgia? A replica of the luxury liner that circles the globe. Exciting stuff. You must be stern then. Yes? You're looking for stern, that would be me. Ah, those must be the parts I ordered from Mr. Stone at Devon. Thank you for bringing the case all this way. Now we can prepare our expedition at last. Well, this is all we need. <laughs> Hold up a moment, we'll be taking those. What? What was that? Who are you people? We're Team Aqua. Our boss wants the parts in that case, so shut your yap and fork it over. Oh, we're going to get a battle. Which is uh, brilliant, folks, because you'll, be you'll be able to see Hawk Hogan in action. He's our new member of the team. Can't remember if I've shown him off before. Anyway, Hawk Hogan. Hawk Hogan's not scared of this Carvana. I'm just going to be... Could I just cut it and see what happens? Aqua Jet. Oh, Sarah. Not quite though, I'm going to cut. Now I knew, I thought for a minute I might go first. Oh man, it's got rough skin. I thought I might go first. Turns out I'm not going first. But it's alright. Cross body! Oh, what? Excuse me. The next time it hits me is going to be a critical hit. You have to be careful, Hawk Hogan, and not let us down. Hit it with a big cross body! Aquajet's going to get a critical hit. Maybe not. Cross body! That's it. Nice body press. I got hit with a rough skin, but I took out that Carvana. Good luck there from Hawk Hogan. Excellent work. Whoa. I got beat by a little brat. I'm not a brat, you bam. Oh man, what a disaster. The boss is going to be furious. Snivelling wimp. Stand back and watch me. I'm the 27th strongest member of Team Aqua. 
Watch me, the 27th strongest member of Team Aqua, take care of this kid. I'm not a kid, I think you'll find I'm a man of 30 years. I'm capable of the Pokemon's battles. You've got two Pokemon's, well that's fine. I've got four, you've got a Zubat. Is Hawk Hogan battle ready? You know what? I'll get, oh wait, I'll try and roost off that damage and get you out of there, Hawk Hogan. There, we'll get some life back. And then you'll come right back and we'll send someone else out. Wing attack, oh jings. Let's send out Stu Johnson, he's at level 20. He should be more than a match for your Zubat. Oh, for goodness sake. Wait a minute, let's fire out the old echoed voice. Screaming at things! That's it. That Zubat's gone down. <coughs> Excuse me. Now who's coming out? Let's see. Start for 10, go to level 18. Excellent. It's a Carvania. What can you do to me? Nothing, I'm going to shout at you. Not even an aqua jet. Shouting at fish. There we are. Good work, Stu Johnson. Not a problem. What? You look at that. He beat the 27th strongest grunt of team in Team Aqua. Now what? If we don't get that case, we're in for it. I never thought we'd be stopped by some meddling kid. Guys, I'm not a kid. I might be shocked, but I'm a, a man of 30 years. I will not have this insulted to my face. Oh, now look at this. It's Archie, and my God, if he isn't a sharp dresser. He's got him some interesting futuristic pirate bling. What do we have here? I came to see what was taking so long just to steal a few parts and I find you simps getting beat by this kid. I'm not a kid, mate. I'm the very good Mr. UNJ Mark and I'm a grown man. Yeah. That's quite a fierce expression for such a wee little scamp. That face tells me you're not just another mindless trainer brat. Of course I'm not. The name's Archie. The rough-looking lot you see are members of my team, Team Aqua. So tell me, boyo, do you think that Pokemon people and all the life in this world is de depend on the sea for life? That's right. The sea is an irreplaceable... Yes, I can even make mistakes. I'm Archie. An irreplaceable treasure for every living thing on this planet. But with our selfish ex extravagance, humanity dirties the great ocean, destroying the source for all life. Or of all life. Day by day, we're destroying our most precious resource. If we humans suffer from our actions, well, maybe we'll end up getting what we deserve. But what about the Pokémon in our world? The Pokémon that no longer have a place to live because we stole and soiled their seas? Yeah, the Pokémon that, that won't have a place to raise their young and watch them grow? We are creating a world in which innocent Pokémon suffer as a result of our actions. And that is something that I can't forgive. That's why I came to a decision, see? The foolish actions of my fellow humans, the seas we have blighted, nature itself. I will return everything to its unspoiled beginnings. Heh. It's not like me to talk so much. Never mind, little scamp. I'll withdraw for now and leave you be. But understand this. Get in my way again and you won't walk away unscathed the next time. Remember that at least. Ah, bring it, you big hairy bastard. We're moving out, lads. Young man. Ah, Mr. E.G. Mackey, is it? I was quite a tense situation. Thank you for helping me out. Oh, yes, I almost forgot that you bought the parts from Devon. I did, sir. There you are. This is it. I can't be standing around here. It's finally time for us to set out on our ocean floor expedition. Thanks for this, and excuse me. Well... 
How exciting, I'm going to stand on this blue square like the uh, Michael Jackson Billie Jean video. That was an exciting experience there, folks. Uh, you know what's interesting, however, is that I paid 50 Poké Dollars to go in this museum, and so I'm going to enjoy it as I do some strange kind of Pilates whilst I wait. Thank you everybody for watching this episode, if you have indeed watched it, it was exciting stuff. What's going to happen the next time on the Horn Adventures? Who could tell? Find out next time, until such times, goodbye.